what's up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is mellow everybody now as you can somewhat hear i'm getting over a cold or a fever or whatever i've just been sick for like the last week or two but i just hope that i can get better soon so i can start pumping out more videos for y'all because i just been sitting here trying to edit videos because i couldn't really record them because i was coughing so much and sneezing so much hopefully i won't be doing that in this video but right here, I'm gonna be watching Doctor Strange. I know this is gonna be completely out of order from all the other MCU movies. I watched Captain America last year in, I think, July. I've been meaning to watch more of the MCU movies, but I kind of just like took a break off of them. I'm also doing Doctor Strange, of course, because Doctor Strange 2 is coming out. By the time that I caught up when it comes to all the other MCU movies, I can put this in the right place where you can watch all the movies with me in order. But I would have had so many more other videos ready for y'all, but I just been so busy when it comes to TV shows. Like I told myself that I was really gonna prioritize TV more so than movies this year. And that's something that I'm sticking towards. I thought that I was going to be ahead of schedule. I'm actually way behind schedule because these TV shows take so much time to edit everything because it's multiple episodes that I'm bunching into one video. I just finished doing WandaVision. WandaVision should be coming out the same week that this video comes out. I also just finished recording what if and loki loki is on my patreon right now what if it's not on my patreon right now because i'm still editing it to put it on patreon the next show that will be after wandavision is going to be what if so that'll be coming out next week and then i'm going to hold off on loki for right now but okay so after i'm going to try my best to get euphoria out before Stranger Things part one comes out and before Obi-Wan comes out. And after I get done with those shows, then I'm gonna go into Miss Marvel cause that's coming out in June. And after I get done with that, then I will edit Loki and I'll record Squid Game and have that out. And uh, there's still some more shows that I'll probably like to do. And I would like to do like some reality TV type stuff. Like there's something on Netflix, I think it's like a uh, hundred answers or whatever. That seems pretty interesting. A lot of people want me to do the Haunting in Hill House and stuff, and I'm gonna go into that as well. I'm going to start trying my best to set a set schedule sometimes we might even throw in like some theme days you know like mondays might be like a disney day so one monday i might do an mcu movie uh, the next monday i might do like a pixar or just a different type of disney movie whatever then that's when fridays is going to be like a romantic comedy day or just like a comedy day or just any type of movie really saturday will be like a horror day or like an action movie day or just like I said any type of movie really um <clears throat> yeah if you want to see my full movie reaction to this any other movies that I do and the TV shows that I'm doing and I hope that you are all happy that I'm starting to go more into TV because I know a lot of people have been wanting me to do that and stuff and I'm going to do the same with anime it's just I have to gradually move myself in but yeah you can go down in the description below click the link to my patreon but okay, everybody, let's go ahead and get into this movie reaction. Man, I would love to have my intro the same as that intro right there. But I know that probably takes like a lot of work through after effects and stuff but if any of y'all know how to work after effects and can do that i know that there's some videos on youtube that teach like tutorials and stuff but basically what i'm trying to do is like all my best moments from my videos and stuff just put them in those clips like how you see with the movies and stuff So y'all attack first and then ask questions? Come on now. Uh, oh snap, uh, uh, Mads Mickelson, right? Or is it Mads Mickelson? 
Damn, they didn't even ask no question. That's dirty, man. Oh, I guess they already knew what the hell they was coming for. Could at least talk to him, you know, said any last words or whatever. That cliche. Master Caecilius, that ritual will bring you only sorrow. Oh, I'm not gonna remember that name at all. <laughs> Yo, the costume design here is fire though. She's making me wish that I got into costume. Dude running like a little kid. And I know that's the ancient one, right? Because I've seen her in uh, Endgame. My goodness, look at this! These effects are so fire! Ooh, she taking them out with ease. Oh, that right there was so slick. And I love that stance when she caught the freaking thing back. Got all these followers for what? They getting they butts whooped. My goodness, I love it when they do stuff like this in movies. Ever since I've seen Inception. Inception is like one of my all time favorites. <laughs> oh my God, that transition was so smooth. Damn, why are you staring, girl? Didn't your mama teach you it's not polite to stare? There that boy go, okay. Oh, this is the song in from Superbad. I'm trying to dance corny like how they was dancing in the intro. Feels so good, Chuck Mangione, 1977. Honestly, Billy, you said this one would be hard. It's 1978. No, Billy, while Feels So Good may have charted in 1978, the album was released in December of 1977. <laughs> Yo, this is a great scene just to show you how great of a doctor he is. This dude is so calm doing surgery right here, having a weird conversation like this, like in this point in time. Left a bullet in his head. Thanks, it's specialist Nick diagnosed brain death. Something about that doesn't feel right to me. We have to run. We need to get a prep for a suboccipital craniotomy. Not gonna let you operate on a dead man. And that's leached directly into the cerebral spinal fluid. Rapid onset central nervous system shutdown. I'll assist you. No, Dr. Palmer will assist me. Yeah, because you obviously don't know what the hell you doing, bro. You better have this dude die. Yeah, you need to get you a notebook, bro. Take some notes. Don't just be sitting there watching. You can't do it freehand. I can and I will. This isn't a time for showing off, strange. How about Man, hey, shut your mouth, bro. The hell you think you talking to? Come up with the correct information, then say something. Cranial nerves intact. Goodness, man. Feeling the tension right here. Dr. West, cover your watch. <laughs> yeah, bro, you better to give me a heart attack. Oh, my God. oh, that's the bullet? I thought they got the bullet out and they was just probably getting like a little bit of shrapnel or whatever. Yo. <laughs> Boy, no, this is the beginning of the movie, man. Get my heart racing. You know, you didn't have to humiliate him in front of everyone. I didn't have to save his patient either, but you know, I sometimes just can't help myself. Nick is a great doctor. You came to me. Yeah, so why are you coming at me about showing off or whatever? I saved a life. That's what we should be talking about. Not talking about somebody's feelings. Like, are you serious? Dude, you need to grow the hell up. He was a grown man. Sleeping together. Sorry, I thought that was implicit in my disgust. Uh, uh, explicit, actually. And no, I have a very strict rule against dating comments. Oh, really? I call it the strange policy. Oh, well, good. I'm glad something's named after me. You know, regardless, I'm very flattered by your policy. Man, I love Benedict Cumberbatch's voice, bro. There's only two actors, no, four actors. It's Morgan Freeman, it's Denzel Washington, it's Brad Pitt, and it's Benedict Cumberbatch. I also appreciate that they got Rachel, oh uh, my God, really? I said Rachel. <laughs> I really appreciate that they got Rachel McAdams in the MCU. I haven't really seen her in a lot of movies. I love her in Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers is a fantastic movie. <laughs> Come on, don't show off too much, bro. Damn. Billy, what do you got for me? Yo, you got a car like this, but you don't got a, a touch screen on the dashboard or whatever? You over or touching your phone and stuff? Got it. Come on, bro. Why are you looking that? Look at the road. What the fuck? You gotta be kidding. God. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Ow! 
Yo, damn. Yo, well, they recreated that very well on What If. How you got an expensive car like that, but you don't got like no touchscreen screen on the dashboard, bro? And you really gonna be that irresponsible driving so damn fast when it was raining? That is ridiculous. Makeup right here looks really nice though. So realistic, this is messed up. Gee, when I got into my car accident um, in 2018, oh my goodness. Oh my, what did they do? Severe nerve damage in both hands. No one could have done better. I could have done better. Yeah, well, your arrogant ass was knocked the hell out. So what the hell are you complaining about, bro? Damn, oh my goodness, yo. Yeah, he's gonna be dealing with some arthritis. Now, I, I got into a car accident in November 16th, about 6.30 p.m. in 2018. Something similar happened to me when it came to my hand. Like, the dashboard didn't cover my hands and, like, squish my hands, but my hand, like, punched the dashboard. So that's why, like, if you look at my knuckles, you can see the difference. This one is like really indented. Ah! All right, answer me this bachelor's degree. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this severe to do this and actually recover? One guy, yeah, paralyzed. A few years later, he walked past me on the street. But if it proves your arrogant ass wrong, worth it. I would've called him more than just arrogant. If you just do really gonna insult my <laughs> degree, bruh. Yo, the way his hands are trembling, I understand that it's fresh. Seemed like this dude might lose his hands in the future or whatever. Getting any better! This, some things just can't be fixed. Life without my work. Is still life. This isn't the end. There are other things that can give your life meaning. Like what? Like you. Oh, come on, man. Let's not have one of these type of scenes, man. Come on, don't take that to heart. Like, understand that he's frustrated. I like that shot right there, especially of his hands. Seems like something that would be like in a comic book or whatever. When they first casted Benedict Cumberbatch to be Doctor Strange, I was kind of like, eh, what? I was like, okay. After seeing Infinity War and Endgame and just loving Benedict Cumberbatch as an actor, and I've seen other movies that he's been into. I felt like they cast very well, man. This dude's voice and just his look, that's Doctor Strange. If you came back from a place there's no way back from. I'm trying to find my own way back. Strangers carried me to mountaintops to see holy men. And finally, I found my teacher. And somehow, your body healed. Yes. I would love to know if there's something actually, something like that that's real. The cinematography has been looking pretty good too. See, one of the things that I do like is that Disney has put a IMAX enhanced version of the movie on Disney Plus and stuff. I've kind of been a fan of Doctor Strange just because I liked his look, but when the movie came out, I wasn't really interested to see it. I was at a girl's house and she put it on on Netflix, but shoot, you, you know what goes down, you feel me? You know what happened, it was a Netflix and chill moment. I ain't watched that damn movie. <laughs> you watch. All right. Damn. The courage on that man. Took them out with ease, bro. That dude didn't choke slam that dude. He forehead slam that dude. They're looking for Kamatan. Hmm, I like that shot. And I know that that watch is something that probably goes into the sequel. Man, these boys ashy. <laughs> them boys allergic to lotion. They so damn ash. So might I offer you some advice? Forget everything you think you know. Yeah, what? <laughs> it's like that TikTok. Uh, thank you, ancient one, for seeing me. You're very welcome. The ancient one. <laughs> thank you, Master Mordo. Thank you, Master Hamir. Hey, that boy is freaking racist. <laughs> Even though I know that this character right here is Asian and there was somewhat of an uproar that they casted her to be the character. Just how experimental is your treatment? Quite. So you figured out a way to reprogram nerve cells to self-heal? I know how to reorient the spirit to better heal the body. 
<laughs> you gotta understand where you at, bro. Like, come on, you gotta talk spiritually and stuff. Can't talk medically. Man, that boy ugly. There is no such thing as spirit. I mean, you just more. say that because your spirit is broken, man. See through you. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna show you who can see through somebody, bro. Man, get your hands up off me. To me. I pushed your astral form out of your physical form. Yo, did they change the aspect ratio right there for a second? LSD. It's just tea with a little honey. For what type moment, of honey we talking about, ancient one? Astral dimension. A place where the soul exists apart from the body. Open your eyes. Yeah, I was just about to say, why does it look like they're in front of a green screen? Whoa, <laughs> this dude about to go to Looney Tune land. What the hell is this? He looks all right to me. Did you, come on now, you, you can't be playing with me like that. You think that this material universe is all there is? Oh my God, that looks so good. What, what mysteries lie beyond the What dimensions do you have this man traveling through? Mind and matter. Yo, I should have got high before I watched this. Shape reality. Oh! Ew. What the hell? This universe is oh my god, bro. They went all out with these effects, man. They made sure to get them a great team together. How can people not like this? They just say, oh, it's a big CGI fest. Man, it looks good. What are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, this is the Who best part of the movie so far, man, but it's freaking me out. Multiverse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you physically had that man traveling. What the hell? Teach me. Give me the power to defeat my demons and to live within the natural law. We never lose our demons, Mordo. We only learn to live above them. Oh, I'm gonna remember that. Maybe that line is gonna go into, or, into the sequel. Meditate. The ancient one will send for you. Uh, what's this, my mantra? The Wi-Fi password. <laughs> <You're not savage. laughs> Are you serious? Are like, are you serious, bro? Or is, was that just a joke? Like, come on now. Shoot, <laughs> <coughs> mean, his delivery was great too. Drawn from other dimensions of the multiverse to cast spells, to conjure shields and weapons to make magic. Oh, so Doctor Strange's power comes from the multiverse? Yo, they making me want to look up these thing. outfits, bro. There go that boy uh, Wong. That's Steve, what I'm talking please. about. Just Wong? Like Adele? Drake? Bono. You just gonna keep going? Eminem. <laughs> I was just saying, Squirt. Mm, look like he in the restricted Sorry, section. Translate. Radek, classical Sanskrit. Dude, the music they playing right here in the background kind of sounds like something that'll be in like a Harry Potter movie. Those books are far too advanced for anyone other than the Sorcerer Supreme. Mm, shouldn't have told him that. Now he's about to freaking take all them books and try to read them. I am now the guardian of these books. So if a volume from this collection should be stolen again, I'd know it and you'd be dead before you ever left. Yeah, I was about to say, bro, I can tell from the way you talking, you got a hell of confidence. Any late fees I should know about maiming, perhaps? <laughs> Oh, you know, people used to think that I was funny. Did that work for you? It was lovely talking <laughs> to you. Thank you for the books. It's nice to see how they relationship started out, man. Because they do get great chemistry with each other. We will now receive the power to destroy the one who betrayed us. <laughs> to the eyes oh hell no what 
Mastery of the sling ring is essential. Ooh, I might buy me one of those, man. Visualize. See the destination in your mind. Look beyond the world in front of you. Find me Peter Imagine Parker. Every detail. Oh, that dude got that nub magic. <laughs> What I'm saying is, you're going to hell. What? Surrender, Steven. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think that's a great way to teach him, yeah. I'm doing a lot of handheld with this movie. <laughs> Boy, like, bruh, help me. Give me a jacket or something. Yeah, I see you, boy, looking fresh. You was able to do that with them trembling hands, all right? Oh, and they had to show the body off, too. You're like, yeah, you know, I got me some abs and stuff, you feel me? Books on astral projection. You're not ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. <laughs> Come on. You've heard of her. She's a huge star, right? Of course he's heard of her, but he just doesn't think you're funny. <laughs> and of course, this boy was listening to Beyonce. Don't tell me that this dude was like, hmm, let me look up Beyonce. Let me see. Or unless this dude was already just a huge fan of Beyonce. Once in this room. Oh, that's beautiful right there. You you that man is determined. You need a safe space to practice your spells. Ooh, wait. Hey, are we about to have a Matrix moment right here? You about to fight? How ancient is she? She made me what I am. Trust your teacher. You knew him. When he first came to us, he lost everyone he ever loved. Questioned the ancient one, rejected her teaching. Golly, can you at least let me breathe, bruh? Why are you freaking spitting all that stank breath in my ear? Some magic is too powerful to sustain, so we imbue objects with it. This is the staff of the living tribunal. Oh, you're gonna call it the staff, man? That seems more like the whip or something. When do I get my relic? When you're ready. You're ready when the relic decides you're ready. For now, conjure a weapon. I mean, I got these hands, you feel me? <laughs> He's like, oh, really? Fight like your life depended on it! Ooh. Yo, come on, bro. You really gonna do me like that, man? Dang, that was embarrassing, bro. <laughs> Come on now. You don't tell him to fight like his life depends on it. The weapon that he made seemed like it was more of a defensive weapon. Why? There you go. All you need is your cape, bro. Open the eye of Agamotto. What is it about this book so much that he is so infatuated with? Why not all the other books? I would want to learn every single one of those books that are glowing up. I'm trying to learn everything. You see how he did that thing? Was it like this? Probably doing this stuff all wrong. That apple looked nasty, but hey, that is fire. You reaching right here, bro. I think this is gonna be a little dangerous. Yo, it worked. What did the book say about the dangers of performing that ritual? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't gotten to that part yet. You want to get stuck reliving the same moment over and over forever? You really should put the warnings before the spell. <laughs> he is right. When are you going to start telling me what we are? Well, heroes like the Avengers protect the world from physical dangers. <laughs> These sorcerers the safeguard it against more mystical threats. Mamu dwells in the dark dimension. He is the cosmic conqueror quest to invade every universe. Mm, that kind of sounds like uh, the other guy. I came here to heal my hands, not to fight in some mystical war. I mean, hey, that's your destiny, bro. <laughs> Yo, that ain't my fault. He did that, bro. I didn't call him or nothing. But oh my God, that dude came in like an anime character, bro. Oh, now that is cool. Three doors to three different parts of the world. Hello? Bro, this dude just touching stuff, man. You don't even know what you touching. Like, hey, I don't know you, bro. Can you help me out, man? I gotta use the bathroom. See, they made you a master of this sanctum. 
But you'll die protecting it. He ain't getting nobody else with him. He's just the only person there. Stop! Did he cut his leg off? How long have you been at Kamataji, Mr. Doctor? Mr. Doctor? It's strange. <laughs> <laughs> We're not to judge. Yo, this dude is disrespectful, man. You for real? You just gonna throw an artifact at him? Come on, bro. Oh, I appreciate that, bro. You know, let me get a workout in. Yeah. Or I forget how you do it or something, and then he goes like, yeah. He's doing his thing. He really holding them off the best as he can. Why are you doing all this bitch stuff? Why don't you actually fight me, bro? Oh, okay. You think you smooth? All right, bro. Straight up and hit you with a pile driver, bro, or a power bomb. Show overexcited ass. Is that a pot of gold? You don't know how to use that, do you? I don't, I didn't even know it was a weapon. <laughs> Yo, he is killing it. How are you supposed to be the leader right here, but getting your ass whooped by me? I just got here. I mean, you know, you, you whooping my ass, but you know, you feel me? I'm, I'm fighting back. <laughs> Teamwork make the dream work, baby. I appreciate the support. <laughs> Doctor Strange up in this bitch. Come on, man, we gotta work together. <laughs> Bro, we need to be on the same accord, my guy. <laughs> oh. Okay, have him hit them dance moves. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh, the robot. You die in the drama. What? I can't hear you, bro. What'd you say? Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big baby! In the end, I was Look at that shot, man. Oh my goodness, it looks badass. That's what I'm talking about, man. He's perfect cast. It looks just like Dr. Strange. Looks like they just got him right out of the comic book. What do you have to gain out of this new age dimensional utopia? The world is not what it ought to be. Humanity longs for the eternal, for well beyond time, because time is what enslaves us. Time is an insult. Man, you better start crying, nigga. <laughs> maybe that makeup was like irritating his eyes or something. Or maybe he just got really into the character right there. The ritual gives me the power to overthrow the ancient one and tear her sanctums down to let the dark dimension in. Because what the ancient one hoards the mama gives freely. And how did he throw that freaking air sword at me and my freaking cape didn't save me? And then that's when my cape is still not trying to patch me up or something. Come on, bro. I know you can put some pressure on my wound. About time you do something. Damn. Yo. Damn, he whooping his ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, chill out, bro. Damn. <laughs> Yo, chill. He probably talking shit too, like, <laughs> Yo, you think this is? <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're screaming like a bitch. Bro, you gotta close that portal, man. What happened? Stabbed you. What are you wearing? <sighs> like my outfit, you feel me? She got it from Fashion Nova. <sighs> what in the world, bro? This has to be probably the Just weirdest movie that. <laughs> Please be careful with the needle. It's definitely the weirdest movie that Marvel's made so far. I've never seen a wound like this. What were you stabbed with? It was a, a space air sword. <laughs> He'll open his ass. Like, yeah, you like that? You like that? Oh, heck yeah, bro. They really got the, the fight in the astro bodies or Astro bodies or something? I'm gonna have to vanish now. No, what? Yo, they get so much tension in this movie, man. It's insane, but I'm loving it. It's round one. <laughs> I liked how the lighting changed right there. 
So you tell me he getting his butt whooped by this dude, but he was fighting the main dude with ease. I mean, like, of course he wasn't like really winning the fight that much, but he was doing better. Yeah, yeah, you take me, take me a little extra lunch, you feel me? Ooh! <laughs> God, you didn't have to do him like that, no name character. Yo, I appreciate the support right there. Gave me a power boost. Hit me again. <laughs> Yo, yo, this dude, Stephen Strange, or Dr. Stephen Strange, or Mr. Dr. Stephen Strange. This dude is so freaking intelligent. What the fuck? Oh, man, don't do me like that, man. It's so good just to see her point of view of all this, man. I haven't really seen any of the... <laughs> I haven't really seen any of the... Marvel movies where they actually had just normal humans involved into the story like that. The people of S.H.I.E.L.D. and all this stuff, they're normal humans, but they are used to this whole thing. I'm talking about people that are not used to this. Oh! <laughs> Fire shot. The cloak of levitation. It came to you. No minor feat. Oh, so you knew all this stuff was going on. You defended the New York Sanctum from attack. With its master gone, it needs another. Master Strange. Man, oh, this is happening so fast. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be hating on me, you feel me? Shoot, you should have showed up. Doctor Strange, not Master Strange, not Mr. Strange. Doctor Strange. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, he said it! He said it! It's our fear of death that gives Dormammu life. He feeds off it. Like you feed off him. What is he talking about? She draws power from the dark dimension to stay alive. That's not true. I've seen the rituals work them out. Oh, dang. I didn't know he knew that. Damn. And it was true. She dipped out quick. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I love it when he be stepping on the things. Get down here and fight! <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, he mastered this place, too. But hey, I'm the main character, bitch. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I was gonna say it looked like one of those illusions or something. Their connection to the dark dimension makes them more powerful in the mirror dimension. It was suicide. I mean, you didn't know that at first, though. Like, come on now. Don't be trying to be like that now. Yo, I remember when this movie was announced and they had the set photos. Hilarious. Oh, R.I.P. Stan Lee, you feel me? You know, it's Stan and then the Lee. When it was like first announced and they had the set photos of them running through New York in that scene that just happened. This was a mistake. She was like, shit, you, I just told you that. Do <laughs> you think? At least nothing's happening to the real world, though. Yo, y'all playing too much, man. Just kill me. Golly. Yo, there's so much going on right here, man. What the? Yo. <laughs> this is a triumph right here that they were able to do something like this. Oh, my goodness. Yo, the ancient one is here. I knew it. Yo, she had the Dormammu thing on. It's true. You were just covering up that I scar? Oh, it was, you just answered the question. All right. Wow, they took the design from Inception and just turned that freaking dial up to the extreme. So she wanted the same thing that they want right now, and she learned the truth. Wow, they still learning, or they still trying to look for the truth. <laughs> That was a fire shot, man. Went like this and said, boop, boop. <gasps> Yo, what the hell? Yo, in the first movie? Oh, shit. 
Oh my God. Yeah, she did. What the? F Christine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> bro, this is supposed to be a dramatic moment right here, bro. We skip right to it, Joe. Yes. I know that's like one of the main things that a lot of people complain about when it comes to the Marvel movies and stuff. Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. Which is? It's not about you. Man, she can't die now. He has so much more to learn. I've hated drawing power from the dark dimension. But as you well know, sometimes one must break the rules in order to serve the greater good. Mordo won't see it that way. I wonder what Dr. Stephen Strange was doing throughout that whole conversation. Cause I know when he left his body, he kind of was like this. So I wonder if he was just sitting like this for the longest and people were just looking at him like, bruh. <laughs> He's like, we need you. I don't understand what's happening. I know. You said that losing my hands didn't have to be the end, that it could be a beginning. Because there are other ways to save lives. I don't want you to go. Gonna kiss me on my wound? Why not on my lips? And this dude did not take his eyes off of her eyes. That's how you know that man is deeply in love. A lot of people will say that there's not really any good acting in comic book movies. But that's some great acting right here. <laughs> He's like, come on, man, I got you, bro. You know, I'm always here for you, bro. Castilius, you're on the wrong side of history, bro. What's up, Casey? Or Cassie, whatever your name is. <laughs> She's dead. You were right. She wasn't who I thought she was. She would don't have that turn you to the dark side or whatever. I don't know. The, the evil side or something. The dark dimension is volatile. What if it overtook her? She taught us it was forbidden. The bill. She comes. taught us it was forbidden because she already don't tried it. And she saw the evil within her it. And she has a stronger heart and a stronger will than a lot of other people. So she was able to fight it off. Like she said, she hate uh, taking power from it and she always fought it and stuff. I cannot defeat them alone. Yeah, get your crowd baby ass up, man. Let's go, we need to fight. Dude, you need a tissue? Ooh, you want a hug? Sanctum's already fallen. Dang, that was quick. Wong, what happened? Haha, <laughs> almost. Oh, look like some photography right there. Okay, I see you. We've got a second chance. <laughs> wow, they really could fight that off? Come on, man. This is just some BS. Yo. This is really like a video game. Oh, damn, that's freaking messed up. But you, you just saved a life right there. Who is that? This movie right here is blowing my mind, man. Wow. Oh, that boy was dead? Man, this dude just loves slamming the ground, bro. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Oh, yo, they doing the mannequin challenge. I mean, you could have just did the spell again, bro. So vibrant, man. Even Strange has left you and surrendered to his power. Yo, this dude Mordo is weak, bro. Damn, you huge, bro. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. Romamu, I've come to bargain. You've come to die. Nah, bitch, I said I came to bargain. <laughs> Obviously, Benedict Cumberbatch voiced him. Damn. <laughs> yeah, he was smart to do that. He already knew what was going to happen. I've come to bargain. What is now, my? What is this? 
No, I can't even give you a counter offer. It seemed like you didn't like my original offer. Golly, come on, man. At least hear me out. I've come to bargain. <laughs> I've come to bargain, this bitch. This is you gave powers from your dimension. I brought a little power from mine. Come on, bro. <laughs> this dude ain't trying to listen at all. He's so damn stubborn. You cannot do this forever. Actually, I can. Yeah, because we're in a time loop, dumbass. Ramamu, Ramamu, Ramamu. Jolly, there you go. Throw in some variety. You feel me? Keep killing me the same ways and stuff. Stop. Make this stop. Hey, I came to no. bargain. You feel me? I've come to bargain. What do you want? And your assault on my world. Never come back. Hey, that's like really small. Uh, I didn't really didn't think he would accept something like that. If, if I was Dormammu, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll come right back. What is this? Everything you ever wanted. Oh my goodness. Oh, what type of design? It's like they turn into husks or something from Mass Effect. Yeah, you know, you really should have stolen the whole book because the warnings, the warnings come after the spells. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was mortal right there, but okay. <laughs> Hey, I really thought that scene with Dormammu was gonna go on for a little longer. He got annoyed quick. That dude was stubborn, bro. He didn't want to listen. He's straight up toxic, bro. Like for real, he needs to get canceled. <laughs> yes, we did it by also violating the natural law. Bro, shut your following ass up, bro. The bill comes due. What are you talking about? I will follow this path no longer. This dude, bro. Like, are you serious? Like, he's stubborn too. I mean, the ancient one said that, but I didn't know he was that stubborn. It's like he only wants to be on one side that is completely good, does not corrupt or does anything bad or whatever. Like, that's that's not real, dude. Everybody makes mistakes and stuff. Like, come on now. It's like if me and him were roommates or something and I accidentally fell asleep in the bed with my shoes on or whatever, with my pants on, he'd be like, bro, I can't live with you no more. Like, are you serious? Bro, it was just one time. <laughs> Or maybe if I'd like, I took the last pop tart or something, or ate the the last little bowl of cereal, this dude would be pissed off and be like, "Bruh, I can't live with you no more, bro. We can't be roommates." <laughs> like, are you serious, bro? You petty, bro. I liked how they mentioned the multiverse a few times in this movie. I didn't even think they were gonna be talking about the multiverse this early. This is so cool. So they are. I, I'm. I can already see so many things that will be going into the sequel. Oh, that was the ending? Okay. Hey, that was fire. That movie was pretty good. I didn't think the movie was going to be that good. I was fully invested into this movie. I was hyped. I loved the tension. The action was good. The directing was great. Cinematography was good. I can't wait to see uh, what Mordo has been up to. Them so in credits was fire. What wizards now, huh? I don't drink tea. What do you drink? No tea. Yo! <laughs> So I keep a watch list of individuals and beings. This is a great end credit scene. Your adopted brother Loki is one of those beings. Worthy the inclusion. Yeah. Why bring him here to New York? We're looking for my father. Allow me to help you. Uh, that is one hell of an end credit scene. And I liked that uh, they had Doctor Strange with the yellow gloves because I know that he has the yellow gloves in the comics. Yo, they got two end credit scenes? Oh, no. I thought this was going to be the Civil War thing. Can I help you? They carried you into Kamataj on a stretcher. Oh, they really showing this boy Mordo. That's what's up. Yes. I've been away for many months now, and I've had a revelation. The true purpose of a sorcerer, stealing power. This is my power. <laughs> Yo, Mordo, what the hell's going on? This dude's a villain now? Why are you doing this? Because I see at long last what's wrong with the world. Too many sorcerers. Wait, what? Hold on. This dude freaking turned into a villain. His reasoning for turning into a villain is kind of weak, bro. But damn, okay. 
I didn't think they was gonna show anything like that. All right, everybody, and that was Doctor Strange. This movie was so freaking good. This was an epic. I really liked so much about this movie when it comes to just all the characters that they introduced, the acting, the chemistry amongst all the actors, the effects were absolutely to die for, man. It was chef's kiss. When it comes to the action, it was so freaking good. And I just, I loved how different this movie was compared to all the other MCU movies like i said benedict cumberbatch is perfect casting i don't really know all the characters of dr strange i don't really know a lot of the characters of any comic book i only know like the main characters of their own comic book just seeing how they executed this film when it comes to the directing and the cinematography and like i said when it comes to the effects and stuff it was just magnificent man and i'm just it made me even more excited for the sequel because when this movie was announced and they were showing the trailers and all that stuff i was just like bro i ain't really interested in that i was like it, it looks cool but i was like it's whatever i am i'm not really interested in dr strange even though i was like i like the character and i love benedict cumberbatch i was just like i ain't really interested in that movie there's a lot of movies when it comes to Marvel that I have not seen because of that exact same thought process. I thought that they looked kind of boring. I wasn't really that interested in like, you know, Ant-Man, Iron Man. I haven't seen the first two Thor movies. When it comes to Guardians of the Galaxy, I've seen the first one, but I haven't seen the second one. So I'm gonna be doing Captain Marvel next because I'm gonna be doing the MCU movies in timeline order. I'm not doing them in release order. I know a lot of people want me to do them in release order. I don't know why. To me, I think that's stupid as hell because why would I do that when there is a story being told? I'm going to follow the story. Like <laughs> That's how it is. As long as there's like no spoilers or whatever, like how there is in Star Wars, then I'm going to follow the story. I would follow the story in The Hobbit and then The Lord of the Rings. The reason why I did Harry Potter before the Fantastic Beast movies is because the Fantastic Beast movies are not even done. But yeah, this was a great movie. It has some great themes in here. The dialogue was fantastic. And there was sometimes in within the dialogue, within those lines that could get you thinking, it could connect with you. To see the comparison of the what if episode to this movie and now about to go into Doctor Strange 2. It's really cool to see just how driven this man Doctor Strange is when it comes to learning something to achieve whatever it is his goal is. Has some very emotional moments in this movie and uh, the same with the What If show. And the What If show had more emotional moments than this movie did. It made me appreciate the character more. I felt like the villains were a little weak. They were cool. It was just underwhelming. That was the only negative that I'll say about this film. I had a great time though, and I cannot wait to hear y'all thoughts about this movie. Which character is your favorite when it comes to the MCU movies and just the MCU universe? Uh, what is your favorite MCU movie? And make sure you like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload more videos, and then follow me on all my social medias. You know, the links will be down in the description below, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Twitch, all that type of stuff. And if you wanna see my full length movie reaction to this movie, any of the other movies that I do, and then the TV shows that I'm starting to do now, then you can go ahead into the description below and click the link to my Patreon. And I will go ahead and give this movie actually a eight A plus, man. And with all that being said, I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, peace.